Joseph Noland was father of United States Representative Joseph Russell Noland, grandfather of United States Senator William Fife Noland, and great-grandfather of publisher and actor Joseph William Joe Noland, New York. Joseph Noland was born in New York City, October 8, 1833. He was orphaned as a youth. Little is known of his early life. His son, Joseph Russell Noland, wrote that to his father's parents, died when he was a small boy and he recalled little or nothing of them. Argonaut. As a young man, Joseph Nolan traveled west to seek his fortune in the California gold fields. He left Southampton, Long Island, New York on the SS. George Law to Aspen Wall, the port of the Isthmus of Panama, on the Atlantic side. He crossed the isthmus by the 49-mile railway, seeing the tropical trees and jungle. He departed Panama on the Pacific side aboard the SS John L. Stevens. Joseph Noland arrived in San Francisco on February 14, 1857. He traveled to Yankee Jim's in Placer County, the Argonauts' gateway to the gold fields. However, chronic illness and lack of success made Noland return to San Francisco. San Francisco. Joseph Noland worked as a laborer with the firm of George H. Moore and Francis B. Folger, which handled clipper ship service between New York and San Francisco. He left Moore and Folger in 1862 to clerk for Charles Hare's Anchors and Ship Chandler Company. However, a position with Benjamin Dawes Lumber Company soon proved more lucrative. Having a secure job, May 13, 1863, Joseph Noland married in San Francisco, Hannah Bailey Russell, born in Moscow, Maine and raised in Bingham, Maine, the daughter of Francis Russell and Rhoda Bailey Russell. Her ancestors, Joseph Russell and Calvin Russell, were veterans of the American Revolution. Shortly after his marriage, Joseph Noland was elevated to bookkeeper at Henry Blythe's lumber yard. Saving enough money to invest, in 1867, he formed a partnership with Jason Springer. Springer and Noland Lumber Company was a profitable venture. Four years later Noland and Charles Franklin Doe formed the Nolan and Doe Lumber Company. Charles Franklin Doe, the benefactor of the University of California, Berkeley, the main library bears his name. The Nolan daughters were born during this period. Sadie E. and Lucille, a son, Hollis Russell Nolan died as an infant. Due to a recurrence of the illiness of his mining days, in 1872, Joseph Noland moved his family from San Francisco to the city of Alameda in Alameda County, Alameda. The new home at 2426 Lincoln Avenue was for a growing family. Joseph Russell Noland was born at home, August 5, 1873. The home was not a political one, yet the northern ideals were instilled in the children. The children attended the public schools. Sadie and Lucy attended the private Snell Seminary School for Women and Junior went to Hopkins Academy and University of the Pacific. Joseph R. Noland wrote of his mother, she was known as a warm, confident person who got things done, with a minimum of histrionics and a maximum of effectiveness, having the rock-ribbed benevolence of a native of Maine. Business. Joseph Noland had an instinct for business and a willingness to undertake new and exciting ventures, diversified interests, related to the lumber business. He reorganized Gardner Mill Company of Gardner City, Oregon, a major interest holder in the Kirchhoff Kuzner Mill in Los Angeles, serving with the Hoopers and Talbots on the board of directors of the San Pedro Lumber Company. Joseph Noland was chief advisor to the Southern Lumber Company of San Diego, investing with Egbert Judson, former California governor, Frederick Lowe and other prominent men in mining interests in Tombstone, Arizona Territory. He served as vice president of the Kennedy Mining and Milling Company in Jackson, Amador County. When whaling was very lucrative, Joseph Noland was the principal owner of the whaler Amethyst, U.S. Naval ships saved the crew, but the Amethyst sank. Noland became a major stockholder in the Alameda Bank and trustee of the Gas Consumers Association. 
Later life, a 33rd degree Mason, he served on the board of trustees of the Old People's Home. Joseph Noland each Christmas would send coal and groceries to the most needy in the community and ask nothing for his charity. His eldest daughter, Sadie Co, wife of Professor George A. Co of the Northwestern University at Evanston, Illinois, daughter, Lucille K. Hill and son, U.S. Congressman Joseph Russell Noland, his grandchildren, Eleanor, Russ and Billy. Sadie died August 23, 1905 and daughter-in-law, Ellie, died July 20, 1908. Joseph Noland, left a sick bed to vote for his son, November 5, 1912. The afternoon of November 13, 1912, Joseph Noland, died at his Alameda home, surrounded by his wife, son and daughter. The funeral was conducted as a joint Presbyterian and First Methodist service. Joseph Noland was honored with full Masonic rites. Noland was cremated. At Chapel of Memories in Oakland, California, his remains are in Verbena Section, Tier 2 No. 6 along with wife, Hannah and daughter, Lucille Noland Hill. Fraternal Organizations